Hey guys, this is Nick from Financially Aware, and today I want to talk about the craziness going on in these bankrupt stocks and the new levels of craziness that we've reached with Hertz <laughs> worthless stock. Um, it used to be back in the internet bubble days that when a stock wanted to go IPO, initial public offering, uh, when it was really frothy, they wanted to make sure that they had no profits because that way they couldn't have a P.E. ratio. So if you had earnings, then you had a P.E. ratio when people could compare your your stock price to other other price stocks if it's expensive or not. But if you're losing money hand over fist, <laughs> then that means you're a growth company and you know everybody wants to buy your stock because you're all about growth you don't care about earnings at least that's the story that they were selling then it was all about eyeballs how many people come to your website not about how much money you make so the more money you lost the better it was because that means you were growing quicker so people would buy up your stock even more the more money you were losing uh, you know, fast forward to around 2017 with cryptocurrencies and you got all of these ICOs, initial coin offerings, where I'm, I'm not an expert on that, but I believe it was basically all of these Me Too wannabe cryptocurrencies that were basically worthless and they got you to trade more uh, worthwhile currencies like Bitcoin for these ICOs in the hopes that they were gonna have these huge returns. And some of them did temporarily, but they all basically crashed and burned afterwards after they got all the suckers in, you know, telling them that this is gonna be the new Bitcoin and this coin is only 10 cents. And if it, if it goes to a dollar, you'll make 10 times your money and all this stuff. So, you know, everybody jumped on board because they were looking for, for new riches. Well, now we have from the IPO to the ICO, we now have the IBO, the initial bankruptcy offering. And this is the first time it's ever been done. A company that is in bankruptcy selling more stock. So this is how crazy the market has gotten. Uh, Hertz has now gotten court approval to sell its worthless stock in the first initial bankruptcy offering and zero hedge joked about this the other day when hertz went to six dollars and 25 cents they said we joked that we hope the company sells a few hundred million worth of stock after all there is an endless supply uh endless demand for its shares <laughs> uh so yeah this is how crazy it's gotten and if you think about it <laughs> what they're doing because there's not going to be any uh, pension funds or institutional investors buying this thing. They're selling it strictly to all of these people that have been bidding up this stock to $6 or whatever that have no idea about the bankruptcy and that this stuff is worthless. Um, and so that's all of these small investors. So they're basically, it's kind of the opposite of Robin Hood because <laughs> they're selling this stock to the poor to make the rich people that own the bonds just a little bit more richer so it's like the reverse robin hood so everybody by now has seen this chart of robin hood users that have gone into hertz like crazy as the stock has gone bankrupt there's over like 160,000 positions now in robin hood users back from probably almost nothing at the beginning of 2020. So they are really piling into this thing. So not only is it bankrupt, but it also got a delisting notice this week. And in the same week that they get a delisting notice, they're going to try to sell $1 billion in stock to investors in new stock. And they just uh, got this permission today to sell up to like 246 million shares. So. Uh, if they get a billion dollars, that would mean they would have to sell it for a little bit over $4 a share to get that $1 billion because the most they could sell is the 246 million shares. Now, let's see 
what the Hertz bankruptcy lawyer is saying about this. I mean, this is, it's so blatant that it's, it's kind of like, you know, they must have had this conversation to themselves like, okay, we're bankrupt, but there's all these hundreds of thousands of people buying up our stock like idiots. Let's take advantage of this. If they like our stock so much, let's see if we can sell them, you know, more stock because as it is now, the stock that people are buying, Hertz doesn't make anything on it. It's just in the secondary market. They're trading between themselves of stock they, they have already sold. But if Hertz itself goes and sells new stock, they actually get that money in their pocket. So this is the difference. So they're like, all right, these, <laughs> these people like it so much. Screw it. Let's see how much we can sell them in new stock. And so here is somebody saying uh, this is a former bankruptcy judge. And they say that they have been giving all the warnings. If people want to buy it, fine. <laughs> and here it says the Hertz attorney, Tom Loria, said the company will seek to begin the sale as soon as possible before the opportunity slips away. We are trying to move very swiftly. So what they're trying to say is, oh my God, these people are buying this stuff up like crazy. Let's get it out there and sell them our stock as soon as possible before the euphoria ends and the stock comes crashing down to where it's supposed to be, which is like zero. So, so even the Hertz attorney is like, yeah, we're trying to move as quick as we can before these people wake up and realize that this stuff is really worthless. So look at this part, creditors approve. Yeah, of course they approve. They're gonna get a little extra money now because of these people are gonna buy this stock that the proceeds are only going to go to pay off a little bit more of the creditors. So a committee of unsecured creditors who stand near the back of the line to get repaid support the share sale because it could bring in 500 million dollars the attorney said uh yeah of course the cash infusion would come without having to pay high interest rates and fees associated with traditional bankruptcy loans and so even several sets of unsecured hertz bonds soared after the ruling so the 5.5 percent notes due 2024 jumped 13 cents from up to 48 cents so what that means is they were trading at 35 cents on the dollar and now that they're like oh look these idiots are going to buy some new stock and we're, they're going to take the proceeds and spread it along us unsecured creditors so that's going to make the bonds go up from being worth say around 35 cents to maybe like 48 cents but what that means is that you know it, this is kind of like a, a voting machine it, it's like saying okay we figured out that if they sell off a billion dollars in new uh, equity it will make our bonds worth about 48 cents it won't make it worth a hundred meaning we won't be whole there'll still be debt that can't be repaid but we'll be paid a little bit more so instead of 35 cents maybe it'll be worth 48 cents but unless the thing gets completely paid, the shareholders still get zero. I did a video explaining what happens to stockholders and bondholders during bankruptcy. And in this video, uh, I'm going to explain what happens uh, with this stock offering and who's going to get paid from it. So let's check that out. Uh, but before we do that, I want you to smash the like button as if you were smashing the buy button on a million share order of Hertz. So hit that like button. I, uh, I really appreciate it and it helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. So let's continue. So imagine Hertz is having a pizza party, right? This is basically them in bankruptcy and the pizza represents how much money or assets they have to give to their creditors. So imagine a pizza party where the line of people waiting to get pizza is long and if you're at the front of the line you get yours first uh, and the only difference is that these people here are secured debt which it's about 14 billion for Hertz uh, secured by their cars and then this is the unsecured debt which is about four or five billion 
and then behind them is the stockholders. So the way it works is, let's say that there's only two pies here with six slices of pizza, and these secured debt holders are guaranteed in their contract three slices of pizza each. So they go up and they go to get their pizza. Now, there's not enough pizza for all of them. They need 15 slices between all, th all five of them, and there's only 12 slices. So they tell these guys, hey, there's not enough pizza over here. And these guys <laughs> tell the stock buyers, they say, hey, why don't you go buy another pizza for us? And the stock buyers go, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, put another <laughs> initial bankruptcy offering out there. We'll buy up the shares for you guys. And that way, you know, everything will be great and we'll all eat, right? Well, let's see what happens when they, when they foot the bill for another pizza. So another pizza comes, now there's 18 slices. So this guy gets three, this guy gets three, this guy, they all get three, that's 15 slices. And these guys are supposed to get two each, right? But there's only 18 slices, so they're not even getting their two slices each that they're supposed to get contract, con contractually. So what that means is they're supposed to get 19 slices, there's only 18 slices. What happens to the stockholders? Nothing, they get nothing because they're at the back of the line and there's not enough pizza for all the the secured debt and the unsecured debt that are guaranteed that they have to get their pizza first before any stockholders get any pizza so that's how it works and so this offering shares is not going to do anything except help these bondholders get a little bit more pizza for themselves and nothing is going to be left for the stockholders so if you didn't figure it out already, uh, I would say do not, one, do not buy current Hertz shares and definitely do not buy any initial bankruptcy offers that they offer anytime soon uh, because you are still all the way at the back of the line and there's not enough pizza to feed all the bondholders even with this uh, new money that they're gonna get. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment on whether you still want to buy Hertz or even buy more stock in their initial bankruptcy offering that they're coming out with. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.